Our new report looks at the clean power sector over the next decade, from 2010 to 2020, and the results are amazing. The Pew report clearly shows that economic opportunity in the clean power sector abounds. All G20 nations could attract additional private investment if they adopt clean energy policies. A total of $2.3 trillion in private investment could occur. The United States, for instance, could attract $342 billion over the next decade if they adopt strong clean energy policies. Well, there are a range of policies that the United States could adopt. One of the most effective policy measures to really maximize investment is what's called a renewable electricity standard. Renewable electricity standard requires that a portion of your electricity be generated from wind, from solar, from geothermal, tidal, or other renewable sources of energy. Our report showed that the center of gravity for clean energy investments is really shifting to Asia. Together, India, Japan, South Korea, and China will constitute about 40% of all investments in the global clean power sector over the next decade. We not only need to install renewable energy capacity here at home, but we need to meet their demands. We could be a major exporter to China, to India, and other parts of the world. Solar panels, pieces of wind turbines, goods and services that actually China needs to create their own wind turbines. By and large, these are American-made tools and products. We can work up and down the supply chain to really supply China and India with the things that they need. It's a gigantic economic opportunity for the United States, particularly at a time when we're trying to grow jobs, rebound our economy, reinvigorate our manufacturing base. Business as usual simply isn't working. Looking to the future, I hope that the administration and Congress can work together. Energy isn't a political issue. It's not a partisan issue. It's a very pragmatic issue. And clearly, there is a huge economic opportunity for the United States in the clean energy sector globally and domestically. So the question really for policymakers will be, will they seize the opportunity or will they let it pass them by?